I'm just going to get right to the point. I'm nervous. I'm not happy about this Cooper Cup news. Apparently, he suffered a hamstring injury at practice, and he's going to be out for multiple weeks. I know August just started, just ripped off the August month. Anytime you suffer a multi-week injury at this time of the year, it is worrisome. Now, I'm coming at this from a point of view of Cooper Cup. I've been extremely vocal that, without a doubt, deserves to be in the top two conversation for wide receivers, right? And I've I've had drafts. I've been doing a bunch of drafts on underdog. So if I have the two pick, I'm going Jefferson one. Behind him, though, Cup and Jamar Chase, it's a debate worth having. It was at least prior to this injury. And if I was in 10 drafts at the 102, I would go chase half of them and I would go cup half of them. And maybe I'd sprinkle in like one Tyree kill there to diversify the portfolio. We're always trying to diversify the revenue. Now you're going to hear a lot of things in-house. Of course, they're not concerned. It's minor per Adam Schefter. While the team will be very cautious with him, one source said he could potentially be back scrimmaging in a few weeks. Anytime it moves to potentially a few weeks down the road, the timetable is probably longer than that. And Dr. Jesse Morris of the Fantasy Doctors made a good video that you can go find on Twitter. I'll link it down below as well, where he goes over the situation just quickly. But he said they wouldn't be getting an MRI if they didn't have at least some concern with it, right? If it was an extremely minor hamstring tweak five weeks until the season, you probably wouldn't need an MRI for it. This is his, as a sports orthopedic surgeon, this is his words, not mine. And if you check out this tweet from Adam Hutchinson, who also works in the medical space, said the average missed time for a hamstring strain, again, we don't know the severity of it, right? We only have rumors about how it's minor and he might be back in a couple weeks. And if you think about how most hamstring injuries play out, if it's really minor, most coaches will come out and say day to day, when realistically, you need at least like a week and a half, two weeks to recover from a hamstring injury. So the fact that they're already projecting multiple weeks out tells me that's probably a little bit more serious than giving credit for it. it says there's a 13% re-injury rate on something like this and then right underneath it it said important wide receivers over the age of 28 have double the re-injury rate and experience impaired fantasy production for three plus weeks after the return now my biggest concern is with his age and the re-injury risk and Dr. Morris comped this almost to the situation with Keenan Allen where he had a little bit of a hamstring tweak re-injured it and then missed half the season and he's obviously coming off a serious lower body injury is it a compensation injury maybe not Probably not. He was full strength at practice. So it probably just was what it was. And that's what happened. But for me to feel com like right now, if I'm drafting right now, I'm about to update all my rankings. So anyone that has the draft guide, you'll be emailed out completely updated new rankings by tomorrow morning. If you don't have the draft guide yet, you can go cop it on bdge.shop. But it's extremely heavily discounted if you are new to Underdog Fantasy and you have not yet signed up on their platform. If you go to underdogfantasy.com or download the app, first link in the description down there, and you use promo code BDGE and deposit just 10 bucks. You're going to double your deposit on the platform. We're going to be doing pick em games throughout the entire season, so make sure you're on the platform regardless, but you're getting our draft guide for free. So we're about to update the ranking, and Cooper Cup is going to move down into the lower wide receiver one-ish range, for sure outside of my top five picks. And listen, if he gets back by like August 20th, and we get a full week, a full two weeks of full practices, I'll be fine with that. But I need to see at least one full week of full practice, not like on the sideline jogging, he'll be ready for week one type shit. No, I want him back at practice full speed for a full week prior to the NFL season, something I've been telling y'all for a long, 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 long time. Injury optimism is like the single biggest mistake for most fantasy players. Don't find injuries in fantasy football because they're going to find you. Why draft an injured player when you're going to have injuries on your team already? So this is buyer beware as someone who is really high on Cooper Cup going into this year. I'm backing off. And you guys should too, especially if you're drafting an underdog right now. Obviously, all the, all the drafts and the lobbies are open. Proceed with hesitation. Pull back. Hey, hey.